Hello, I am Simfogel and welcome to this Final Fantasy V speedrun tutorial. In this guide, we will cover the SNES Any% with English Translation Patch category. For this intro video, we will go over Final Fantasy V as a speed game, version differences, emulator recommendations, and the route this guide will use. Final Fantasy V has got several releases, and the route varies depending on the version of the game you choose to speedrun. For example, GBA has access to the control glitch, which allows you to dupe an insane amount of run issues by mid-game, so every boss kill changes drastically as a result. GBA is the most popular version of Final Fantasy V given it has plenty of quality of life updates such as quick saves, and the translation is not a complete dumpster fire like the PSX release. This is a good version to pick, but be mindful that you can only take away gameplay concepts from this guide and you will have to look up the GBA route and apply that instead. PSX is functionally identical to the SNES version of the game, surprisingly. There is a couple differences in equipment methods, but it's very minor stuff. Barring the longer loading times, you can reference this guide and it will serve you just fine. The mobile and Steam versions of the game have several mechanical changes and bug fixes, mostly taken away from the GBA version. As of now, those versions don't have routes in the English community. I would imagine diagonal movement ruins any chance to perform a step manipulation. If you choose to break those uncharted territories, I commend you, my friend. SNES is what I believe to be the best way to start learning Final Fantasy V. It's by far the most researched version of the game. Other routes use its strategies as a baseline to get started, and as the original game experience, it's a good knowledge to have. With 19 runs at the leaderboard, you will find the most competition in this version. If you want to research Japanese speedruns, it's worth noting that the JP community practices what's called BS1 Active. It's a glitchless challenge category that deliberately picks the hardest menu options, making enemies much faster and is difficult. For this guide, we cleared the game with the any percent rule set, strictly speaking, so we changed the battle settings to make things more consistent. If you're here, you probably want to know how F5 first as a speed game. You must have heard how step manipulation is a pain, and how people never complete runs, and I'm not gonna show our code there. Those are facts. While it's not a very technical game, it doesn't have a steep learning curve and you can pick it right up even if you have never played an RPG in your life, it's got a simple control scheme. As a speedrun, a mistake can cause you the entire run, and that can get frustrating with all the cutscenes you will have to go through per recent. I like to think FF5 more as a game of precision, where focus and game knowledge will reward you. It's a unique feeling to complete a run, because you need every battle and every star in the universe has to align in just the right way to get through the game, and knowing you were proactive to make that happen is very satisfying. The reality of it is that you have to practice. Practice the route and internalize all this game knowledge and you will get your chance to see the greats roll. Compared to other RPG speedruns, FF5 is very, very consistent and gives you many opportunities to recover thanks to the job system is plethora of options. You have complete control over seemingly random factors like boss AI and there is always a backup to anything the game may throw at you. Overcoming all these obstacles is why I come back to FF5 so often. It's rough, but a very rewarding speedrun. Given the special circumstances surrounding the SNES localization, by which I mean there weren't any, the leaderboards allow the use of English translation patches. The quote-unquote preferred patch is the RPGE version 1.1 patch. It's famous because it was the first JRPG translation that covered a game in its entirety. It was a revolutionary patch for the era and is regarded as the de facto way of playing Final Fantasy V SNES on English. I will link this patch in the description, but you are free to use any other publicly available patches. You can pick whatever you want, it's not a big deal. It's worth noting that choosing to not use a patch means you will have to submit to a different category. Patches alter dialogue boxes ever so slightly and type characters at a different rate than the original Japanese script. 
so the extra scroll events have been generally slower by comparison. The use of translation patches means the leaderboards are also relatively friendly with emulation. If you cannot use a repo card, here are some options I recommend. BSNES is the best SNES emulator out there. You can run it through Bishock or Hagan, which functions as an interface that runs BSNES. This emulator is known for its accuracy, and it's the closest you will get to running a game on original hardware. The catch is that it is heavy on resources, and some rigs have a slowdown while running it alongside stream. If that is the case, your next best bet is SNES 9X. It's not quite as accurate, but as a matter of fact, I recommend the latter to learn the game. Specifically, SNES 9X re-recording, which I will link in the description. It's a special version of this emulator developed by Tassers, with access to more tools, such as scripts, which we will use to know how encounters and formations advance. Bishawk can also run Lua scripts, but I have seen people having issues with the currently available ones. SNES 9X re-recording appears to be more compatible with the Lua scripts we will use, and also has faster speed up to help you get through cutscenes. For these reasons, I endorse SNES 9X re-recording for learning the game, and Bishawk plus BSNES for speedrunning, if you can help it. Finally, if you are already familiar with FF5 speedrunning, you should know we will be using the Ashura route. I named it this way after Ashura, whose runs I reference it. Ashura is a fantastic FF5 speedrunner from the JP community, who I respect very much, and currently holds the overall best times in the game. This route is a culmination of several discoveries, such as Rang of Angdupin, and is a very safe route, especially for beginners. The Ashura route forfeits the use of Dead by Mad strategies and relies on Mix as the linchpin of most boss kills. This way, there is no need to learn the blue magic spells level 5 Doom and level 2 Old, or Dark Spark even. While these spells clear the pathway for some fast boss kills, learning the spells forces the route to do convoluted setups used to provide that chance. You have to kill characters at specific points and kill specific enemy formations used to properly set up your levels. With the Ashura route, you don't have to bother with any of that, saving time through shorter menus instead. And with all that, we can get started. Before jumping on the route itself, I will do a primer on step manipulation, so see you there.